A group of boys is practicing football in a rectangular ground. Raju and Ratan are standing at the two opposite midpoints, the two shorter sides. Raju has the ball and who passes it to Rivu, who is standing somewhere on one of the longer sides. Rectangle, midpoint on the longer side. Rivu holds the ball for three seconds and passes it to Ratan. Ratan holds the ball for two seconds and passes it back to Raju. Uh, Raju and Ratan are in the midpoints. Rivu is somewhere up there. Okay. The path of the ball from Raju to Rivu makes a right angle with the path of the ball from Rivu to Ratan. The speed of the ball whenever passed is always 10 meters per second and the ball always moves on straight lines along the ground. Nice, interesting. Consider the following two additional pieces of information. Dimension of the ground is 80 by 50. Area of the triangle formed by Raju, Rivu and Ratan is 1000 square meters. And so what do we need to find? Consider the problem of computing the following. How many seconds does it take for Raju to get the ball back? Since he passed it to Rivu. Okay, 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 nice. I'm going to go over this again. Raju and Ratan are two opponent points of two shorter sides, so rectangle like this. So Raju here, Ratan here. And Rivu is standing somewhere on one of the longer sides. Ribu holds it for 3 seconds, passes it to Ratan. Ratan holds for 2 seconds, passes it back to Raju. Okay, the path of the ball from Raju to Ribu makes a right angle with the pass. Okay, Ribu is somewhere here, such that this angle is 90 degrees. Right? Or if you take this and then draw a semicircle, you should cut at two points, the two is sitting in one of those two points. Angle there is 90 degrees. So I'm going to make the diagram even better. I'm going to say, okay, move this, move this. I'm going to say, hey, nice. Let's do this. So let's draw a semicircle. So our man Rivu, Rivu, right? Rivu is either here or here. So this is the path this takes. Some two seconds here, some three seconds here. We don't care about the detail. We just want to know whether the question can be answered. So this is dimension of the ground is 80 by 50. If this is 80 and this is 50, this is 25 on the 80. We can draw this, we can locate the point. We can find this distance, this distance, these two are going to be symmetric, this side and that side, they are through. And so if we can say that hey, 80 by 50, then we can locate the points where Rivu is and we can find this distance, this distance. We know distance, speed is 10 meters per second, time taken for this leg, this leg, somewhere it is 3 seconds, somewhere it is 2 seconds. I'm not really paying attention and remembering each of those numbers. I don't want all that. So if I can find 3 distances, I'm through. I'm very happy with that. And so, nice. The area of the triangle formed by Raju, Rivu and Ratan is 1000 square meters. Nice, 1000 square meters. And so, very interesting. Area of the triangle formed by Raju, Rivu and Ratan is 1000 square meters. So let's say this is A, this is B, this is square root of A square plus B square. And we know that half into A into B is 1000 or AB is 2000. So AB is 2000. And what do we need to find? The distance traveled by speed A plus b plus square root of a square plus b square is what we need to find. a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab. So a plus b plus square root of a square plus b square. The area of the triangle formed by Raju, Rivu and Ratan is 1000 square meters. We know a into b is 2000. a into b is 2000 could be 20 into 100 or 40 into 50 or 80 into 25. For each of them, the a plus b plus square root of a square plus b square will be different. So I don't have to really try to solve this, but I understand that this plus this plus this divided by 10, 10 meters per second, is the time taken. That's what you want to find totally. Plus 3 seconds, plus 2 seconds, whatever that is, that is standard. So if I have a mechanism to find a plus b plus square root of a square plus b square, I'm through. If I know this is 80 and this is 25, and I can locate that. I can draw the circle. I can know this. I can find the midpoint. I can do that. So the part one is easy. Second, second part is saying that the area is 1000 or A into B is 2000. 
40 into 50 is one combination, 20 into 100 is another combination. For them, square root of a square plus b square will be different. Just knowing the area is not sufficient. This is sufficient, this is not sufficient. I'm looking at an answer choice which says one alone is sufficient, two alone is not sufficient. This one. Nice. Hush.